Hi, welcome. Uh, today we're going to talk about power and energy. Uh, power is work over time. And we have an equation that is P equals IV. Power is measured in watts. And we have already seen that in mechanics. We've met the power equation. I is equal to current, which is measured in amps. And V is potential difference, which is measured in volts. Now, on your reference table, you also have all of these other equations that go with the power equation. So you have P equals IV, which is also equal to I squared times R, or voltage squared divided by resistance. You can use any of those parts to solve for what you're looking for. All of these come from the derivation of the V equals IR equation that we learned earlier when we did Ohm's law. So let's try our first problem. We have a lamp connected to a voltage of 120 volts and it's drawing a current of 0.81 amps. How much power does it consume? So we're gonna use P equals IV. Power is equal to current times voltage. Current is 0.81 amps and voltage is 120 volts. So if we multiply those two, we get that it is 97.2 watts. So let's just try another one. We have a car with a headlight that draws 2.5 amps of current when it's operating at 12 volts. So first I want you to calculate the power rating of the bulb. Now what would be ideal is for you to pause the uh, video right now, try all the problems, and then turn it back on and see how you did. So we have power is equal to current times voltage, which we know the current is 2.5 amps, and we know the voltage is 12 volts. So we're gonna multiply those two and we get 30 watts of power. Now the next part of the problem wants us to calculate the resistance of the bulb. So to do that, we're going to use V equals IR. Now there are other equations you could use to solve for this. We could also use P equals I squared R. I just find the V equals IR a little bit easier for myself. So we need resistance to be all by itself. So we're gonna go V divided by I equals R. And we have 12 volts divided by 2.5 amps, and that's equal to R. R ends up being equal to 4.8 ohms. Now when the bulb is cold, its resistance is lower, and I'd like you to calculate the power rating of the bulb when it's at this cooler temperature. You remember from before, we had if the temperature is low, the resistance is low. So that's why it's a little bit less when it's cold. So let's try the power rating. Now this time we have R and we already have current. So why don't we use P equals I squared R. So we're gonna do P equals 2.5 amps. Don't forget to square it times three ohms and P equals 18.75 watts. Now we have another equation, the energy equation. Now energy is measured in joules and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the power times time to get the energy that we use. Now notice what I did is I just added time to all of the equations we learned on the last slide. These are also located in your reference table, so you can find them down towards the bottom in the electricity section. Now, now we know that a sun lamp uses 400 watts of power and it's connected to 120 volts, so I want you to calculate the current used. So we know that we have P, and we have V, so I can use this equation again, P equals IV, and we're going to 
solve for P divided by V is going to give me the current viewed. So I have 400 watts divided by 120 volts is equal to I. I ends up being 3.3 amps. So if we know its power and we know how much time is on for, how much energy do we use? So for that, I'm going to use my equation W equals power times time. What's the problem with the three minutes? Ah, uh, you got it. We do everything in seconds, so you're going to have to convert that. So we have three minutes, and there are 60 seconds in one minute. So I got 180 seconds. energy is going to be 400 watts times 180 seconds. So we have 72,000 joules. Now just to remind everybody, you might need to convert that into kilojoules. So let me remind you how many kilojoules, or how many joules are in a kilojoule. We have a thousand joules in one kilojoule. That's just like we have a thousand meters in one kilometer. So if I need to convert my 72,000 joules into kilojoules, I'm just going to set up my goal post and I'm going to put a thousand joules on the bottom, one kilojoule on top, and I get that my energy used is 72 kilojoules. And I am all set. Have a good day.